Hey, how are you? Charles Lombiazzi here on uh, behalf of um, Greasy Fingers, GF, um, Revolutionary Passive Electronics. Um, I'm here to talk about the K1. It's a um, an idea that I came up with based upon a, um, a three-knob system, a K3 system, which he already built. I uh, hooked up with Pete um, over some videos of mine, and he noticed my attenuation and my uh, my love for like a certain mid-range frequency, and he said he can help me get it um, in his own way. And you know, it it took some trial and error, but uh, finally I um, demoed one of his bases and I fell in love. But the problem was I had this base. This is my Ronaldo Custom. I gotta explain quick things. This is a figured mango body, a uh, repurposed um, Honduran mahogany um, neck. It's a um, a water polyurethane uh, treated um, purple heart fingerboard, and it has a Kaler USA um, tremolo system on it. And then it has this Delano pickup, which is where the problem begins. So anyway, um, I pushed them to build this one knob system to be able to counterattack the problems that I have with this pickup. So it's a pickup made in Germany. It's called an extender pickup. And the problem is, is that it's a great pickup, but you know what? There's only one other replacement. It's a Wrangle pickup. Before I had in here Bartolini style pickup, but I wanted to be cool, and I um, I cut my nose to spite my face, and now I'm stuck with this. So the problem is here is the back coil is more brighter, has more output than the front coil towards the neck. All right, so I tried volumes with push-pulls for series parallel. Forget about trying to do a blend pot. It don't work. I tried six-position um, capacitor-oriented um, varitones. No control. Um, I tried uh, concentric volume tones I tried um, the uh, was it the um, BQ whatever system it is the mid-range control out of an EMG and it was just getting worse and worse so born is the K1 and um, I'm going to explain to you what it does so it's two positions, down and up, all right? The primary position, because I wanted it, is down. This system works on a, um, a five-conductor uh, pickup, meaning that you have the one that's always a ground. It's very important. It's for hum um, purposes, all right? Um, it's a simple system, and... Um, it has a, um, a, a five um, pin strip that the, the, the wires, the conductors of the pickup screw into. It's pretty cool. And then you have a couple of other wires that need to be soldered. If you can do it yourself, great. If not, anybody who's qualified can do it. It's a couple of minute job. Essentially a plug and play system. Now, um, let me further go on to tell you that I'm using Rotosound a mono light gauge flat wound strings, which is 40 to 100. I'm going through my uh, set of preamps here, which normally are running stereo, but since I'm not running effects for all uh, consolidated purpose reasons, um, it's everything is running mono here. So everything is flat. And uh, we're going to begin. So all the way close, it's a regular volume. As we start turning up. 
It's already a warm, fat tone. So let's turn it all the way extreme. What I did was the pickup is in full series and um, it scoops out mid range frequencies. So here's another cool thing watch this. You hit a harmonic, and here's that sound. It just gives you what this bass sounds like. And once again, what's back off? Retains the low end. It's scooping out some of the um, some of the upper registers of the harmonic. Essentially, what it's doing is it's flipping the coils around, and you know that that's that's essentially what the system does. Uh, uh, revolutionary passive electronics. I could sit here all day with this knob and play with it. So let's pull it up. Same thing. Now this here. It's kind of like a um, a parallel mode, but more attenuates like single coil um, dominance. Like this here, I specified I wanted the back pickup to be dominant. So check this out. Let's bring it up. single coil. Now this will go out of phase. And it does it so pleasantly. Now any noise and hums or whatever that you're hearing, you know, I'm not playing through a sophisticated um, system over here. So, you know, we we have to understand, you know, this is a passive system, okay, and uh, this is not an ideal studio style um, setup here. You know, it's my little homemade studio. Besides, I'm recording through a cell phone off of an interface from the mixer, which is taking the XLRs right out of the preamps. So you're going to get what you get, you know what I'm saying? Now, it's a reactive system, means that it works off of the dynamics of your hand. This bass growls. It's a combination of the wood. Remember I told you about the um, the tremolo? Um, it adds like an odd sound to it. And that was another thing which was taking away the low end was the, um, the frequency cancellations that were happening with the um, with the Kaler with the with the tremolo, you know. You get it back. You get it all back with this system. You know the other thing is, like I said once again, the rear coil has a higher output than the front coil. So there's an imbalance and there's in imperfection. So it's either series. Um, or parallel hookup. That's the only way. Or a coil tap, and usually you don't coil tap the bridge. I do. I mean, you know, the 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 um, the, ba the back pickup. You know, that's my preference. Now it's just a single pickup base on top of that. So pickup is pretty much back there. You know, and um, what else can I say except that you know. Try it for yourself. Everybody's playing style is different. Everybody's amp's going to be different. Even if another guy played through my amp, he's still going to sound different than me. And um, every bass is different. What I love about the system is that, you know, 
This is giving me. It's giving me the sound of the bass. What more do you want out of a passive system? The price is right. And um, try it. Try it. You're not going to lose. You, you, you're just not going to lose. And the best thing to do, and the coolest thing, is that if you send your pickup, he'll configure um, the layout of the wiring, um, how it should be connected, you know, in, you know, in, in, in his test space, you know, to, to get the most out of that pickup. Every pickup is different. You may think everything rings across the same. I'm sorry. I watched it with my own eyes. You know, I, I've seen scopes and stuff with two identical pickups come out of brand new boxes. I have it. These two Delano pickups that I had, I, that I have, these two, these two white ones, they're custom anyway for the color. And each one was different. And, you know, he proved it to me, you know, and I saw the readings myself. So this system will not so much that it enhances like the sound like a color is like a like a, a coloration and uh like a, in an active way it, it it passively reproduces the sound of your instrument it finds uh it, the spot and it fine tunes it you have that capability of course you have preamps you have you know eqs or whatever else to do the rest of that too but greasy fingers the k1 it comes into k3 and whatever else your desires may need to have when you have two pickups it's a whole nother summary man it basically does the same thing but between two separate pickups which you have two separate locate you know one towards the back one towards the front so this is my offering here uh i used no effects because the last time I did a video there were a lot of complaints about um, that I used the effects but I use it in the way that how I would normally be using how I'd be playing the bass um, you know for my solo stuff but nevertheless check it out contact Greasy Fingers okay revolutionary passive electronics a passive reactive system you have a good night guys